then. Right, sure is. Look, can I just say, the first time we did this, I had no idea it was being going to be used. <laughs> That's why you walked out, is it? <laughs> yeah, I had no idea it was going to be used for. Yeah, if so, you want to get a drink, get a drink now. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I was playing World of Warcraft. <laughs> Casually listening in, That's which fine. is why my engagement wasn't perhaps what it should be. <laughs> right, so Dave, first, before we start, are you up to date with... Anything. <laughs> You're with anything. No, uh, I'm, no, I'm not up to date with anything. I did. I have watched um, Life reasonably recently. Uh -huh. Oh, uh -huh. I, I thought it was really good. Yeah, good film. Did like it. Um, uh, I like the the monster was pretty pretty good in a <laughs> kind of weird way, but it was just the ending. You know, it's just like, uh, oh yeah, she didn't make it to Earth, and he did, and. And the the guys in the, like, if you were looked in, you know, find a space capture, looked in, and there's someone in there covered with kind of goo. Would you open the door? <laughs> oh, if you go, no, don't. Uh, it, that was it. Was just like, well, it's well, like, it's like the people what? in Alien who go, "Oh, this weird egg is opening. I'll put my face over it." Yeah, I'll put my face <laughs> over it. See what's inside. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear. They had a really logical Come ending on, of it, where, where the guys just kind of look at each other and go. Let's phone the authorities. We'll just leave this here right <laughs> yeah, now. Yeah, roll credit. <laughs> they should have took one look in there and gone, what stuff. is all that stuff in there? Been ran away like a... They went, no, let's open it up. Let's poke it, see if it moves. <laughs> yeah, let's poke it. Oh, it moves. <laughs> okay. That bit was just annoying. All right. And then they've got all these other boats coming to see what's, you know, when it pans out, you've got all these other boats coming to see what the what the party's about. I'm also, I haven't seen it yet, so, but, um, I'm... Oh, right, sorry, I thought you'd seen it. <laughs> no, don't worry. <laughs> big spoiler. We don't worry no, about not, spoilers on this. It's not going to be a right. big for me, you know, don't care about If spoilers, you haven't seen so. it by the meeting, you get spoiled. Too bad. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so, Dave, you're going to get, in, in revenge, you're just about to get a load of... Falcon Winter Soldier. Yeah. Winter Soldier. Yeah. Winter Soldier. Oh, Winter Soldier. Yeah. That was not okay. It'll be... Months before I bother renewing my. Yeah, I've got, I've got winter so shoulder down this side. Winter shoulder. <laughs> winter yeah. shoulder. Anyway, right, so are we ready to talk about the Falcon and the Winter Soldier? Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Well, I didn't disappoint again. Cracking episode. Um, I mean, obviously, um, my favourite bit is the Wakandan Warriors whose names I can't bloody remember. What are they call? It had the word door in it, I can't remember. Jim, Jeff, and Bob. <laughs> <laughs> Rich, Rich came out with it. We talk about. I was talking about with Rich um, because I went to see him at the weekend, and he, he came out with it like that. You know, it's like almost gentle, gentle, something like well. that. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. Anyway, put it on the yeah. in text so we know what we're talking about. Are they sort of names with like? Um, it sounds like all the name con of very consonant coffee. And a few syllables. Yeah. Sounds like, that sounds like the name of a very expensive coffee. You know, <laughs> all right. Palm door. I, I, I can't remember. Anyway. anyway those guys who are not super soldiers, they whoop ass. Bad ass. Cap up. Yeah. And he got really pissed with that. And that was fantastic. You know. Yeah. But they're not super soldiers yet, but they just whooped your ass. Well, I I think they do have some kind of Wakandan power thing going. Uh, I don't think they're just people. Uh, I think they because don't forget Wakanda's got change. some special Wakandan energy bar. It's got some, yeah, it's got some, it's got some Wakandan <laughs> energy bar. <laughs> Got some, got some Wakandan boots. Wakanda bar. There you go. <laughs> They've been using Wakanda those. Uh, Wakanda vision. Yeah. They've been using those Wakandan microtransactions. And, Sorry, yeah. Anyway, uh, that was, I think, one of the best moments in in the series so far for me. That bit when Cap out gets his ass kicked and gets a bit pissed off with it. Mm. It's pretty good. I mean, it really relates to the four his inferiority complex that he's had since yeah. the beginning. Yeah. And I was like, "That's that's a nice instigator, just to push him a little bit further over the edge." Yeah. Which of course, Speaking everything of which, in that yeah. his last episode was just escalation, escalation, yeah. escalation, escalation. Mm -hmm. So yeah, Dan, coming to coming to the end of the episode, pretty much. He flat out murders a man. Well, I know. Wearing the stars everyone. and stripes. Yeah, not a good look. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, those, those not massive out. parallels between that and Civil War, and, and the way it was shot. The difference was that you know. Cap didn't kill anyone, but there was a lot yeah. of throwback, like visual throwbacks, which I was very, I thought was very cool. Yeah, that was a really nice tie-in. Obviously, obviously, it's not 
readily apparent comparison between the two. But one thing I did notice that is on um, New Cap's shoulder, he's got the black and white um, uh, American flag, which meant, means that he's meant to be sort of, um, well, A, he's part of the government, but B, that he um, is representing the police force, mm. and that essentially he's sort of, you know, sort of a more... Um, what do you want to say, sort of more enforcing position than yeah. Steve Rogers was, which is obviously more of a, you know, I don't know what you want to call it, but superhero. It's, it's also a not-so-subtle nod to real-world uh, current state of affairs as well, oh, isn't it? It's yeah, a little bit. But it was I, I, I love the way they did it, though. I mean, the, all the people, you know, with their phones out, and then he lifts the shield up, it's got blood on the bottom and all that. That yeah. last shot, that yeah. was really nice. Yeah, that's pretty good. Cinematographers. Hang mm. on with that. Oh, uh, close to being rated 15 or R rated there. I thought I was a bit. Oh, that's mm. good, good stuff. Good Indeed, stuff. Yeah, so it's it's cracking up. I okay. think that was the best because you know I've been a bit up and down with it. So, yeah, we know. Um, yeah. Last, <laughs> well, well, last week I just I just I enjoyed it, but it just it didn't really hit the spot. This week it built up so well, and yeah. it's just done it. it it took it like I think the best episode we've had have been episode two, but this has been considerably better than two. Mm. Uh, this one really, this one really, really did it for me. This, I mean, I, I I watched it twice and I barely checked my phone, so I know it was a good episode. <laughs> um, you checking the phone quotient? Oh, well, it really is. Yeah, if you, you check checking your phone, that's how you know if it's good yeah. or not. Um, yeah, no, it was. I mean, one of the things I really I realized I I quite like about it is the fact that not. There's, there's no clear good and bad. Obviously, you've got John Walker is kind of looking more and more bad, but like his reason for his turning was his, his mate got like. And I, I like the fact that like someone actually just kind of got kicked into like a wall and actually died, which would have yeah. happened a lot yeah. more. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Pretty much what usually would happen if you got slammed into a wall at any kind of force. Yeah. So these, all this stuff where the people just bounce off and kind of go, oh, that hurts a bit, and get up and just yeah. carry on fighting <laughs> again. Yeah. That's but that, rubbish. That that <laughs> whole thing, the, the, the emotional weight, I think this is what I've said before. This is, I, I like stuff with emotional weight. That's why I think Civil War is one of my favourite films in the Marvel Universe. That's why I tend to lean towards uh, Endgame rather than Infinity War. And going beyond that, that's why I love films like Re Revenge of the Sith, because it has that emotional weight. Mm. Like, there is a certain, I do, I do have an appreciation, like, yeah, I love the kind of, you know, thriller aspects and everything and big explosions, but I do like the fact that, like, you know, John Walker doing what he did wasn't just him being a dick, it was actually, well, kind of was, but it was also, <laughs> like, you kind of see why that happened, and, you know, the cause of that, I was, that was quite interesting. And also seeing, um, this kind of, I guess I don't know if you call her a villain or more of an antagonist character of Carly, which I think I really like the actor in this. Yeah. I think she's really good. Mm. Um, it's quite interesting seeing, you know, again, someone thinks that that this kind of act of terrorism, you know, the end justify the means kind of thing. It's quite an interesting view on morality, which again I hadn't really appreciated until this episode, and actually just the way it all played out and the reason behind it. I like the fact that the the lines are a bit blurred. Mm, so yeah, yeah I, I thought like this definitely took it to a real high level. So I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad. I've, I'm glad I'm sticking around. <laughs> mm. I do like the sort of dynamic of um, having um, the Falcon Sam like agree with what she's doing, mm. but obviously you know it's not the way he would do it. But he does want to sort of try and understand where she's coming from because it's the sort of thing he's kind of dealing with in his kind of. Mm -hmm background i think that's quite a nice touch to add that sort of slightly personal touch to the the sort of hero villain relationship if you yeah. want to call her a villain she's kind of mm, i like that i like okay. the fact that she's not just like some crazy terrorist who's got to stop because america you know <laughs> yeah 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 yeah. but it does seem to be thematic of the entire series so yes. far like there's been a lot of parallels between all the characters like you're not the only one that's in this position yeah. you just your circumstances are slightly different to somebody else but it's the same like root cause if you like mm -hmm. exactly. so that's that's one of been the things that really has tied me to this show yes. more than like one division did because although i was like ready for like you know philosoph philosophical beliefs and stuff didn't really get too deep into the weeds of that like the closest <laughs> we got was the ship of theseus and i was like okay fair enough <laughs> but um, with this obviously having uh all the like um introspection of bucky's past and how that's affected him psychologically mm. the psychological trauma if you like that um 
the new Cap's got, I reckon we'll have an episode where that'll come to bear, where they have to talk something out or maybe fight over it, of how they, they see their own past and how it's affected them and things yeah. like that. Particularly yeah. now that they've both got the serum in them. I think yeah, that'll be the, the crux. The yeah. Next episode night will be interesting. Yeah. yeah. Well, but... How many is left? Is it is it two episodes or four? Like, I mean, I don't know. You're, how... you're the one that usually keeps up with that sort of stuff. I, well, you know, I, I, I can't <laughs> find I it. can't find a definitive answer. I mean, I've been I'll ask find... Bruce Hill though. Mm. He'll tell you how the length of each episode. I mean, considering <laughs> considering where we are, I feel like they've got to have at least more than a couple, right? Because yeah. it feels like they're kind of four. reaching an apex here. They've got to have like the little sort of yeah, come down towards uh... the end. There was one more episode. Again, you'd have to shove too much into one episode yeah. to finish it. Oh, it'll be it'll be at least two at more. Least two, yeah. Maybe more. They're kind of half length <laughs> movies, aren't they? Really? But I think the only other thing I wanted to mention was I love what they're doing with Zemo's character. Like I was thinking back to Civil War, the Zemo cut. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's just him swanning around in his oh, coat going oh yeah, yeah. I, just, yeah. I, mean, I, I, I definitely like the idea of Zemo just coming back and just kind of being he's kind of like the earth version of Loki to me now like he started out just being yeah. kind of mm. a bad guy but he's just he's quite a fascinating character and I'm glad they've actually given him a chance to kind of just be the, he's just a slightly weird guy but like <laughs> He just does. He just has. He just does his own thing. And yeah, I, he's got I just know. a different worldview. Yeah. And yeah. so he's just like you can see the relatability of like how you know the loss of his family's in, infected him more. So I think in this show than in Civil War Definitely. to me. Yeah, without doubt. Um, and the fact that they have these little tie-ins that feel relatable to his character, like how, how he's not afraid to approach the kids, even though it looks very suspicious. <laughs> and he's like handing out Turkish delight, which, by the way, who likes Turkish delight? Thank the you. Kids? It's, oh, oh God, this is horrible no, stuff. This isn't bloody no, Narnia, no, no, come on. Not the cheap rubbishy stuff. Proper Turkish delight. It's just nasty, man. Like it's rubbish. awful. I, I've, oh, I've never I've, understood I've, the appeal of Turkish delight. delight. That, that, bit, that bit in, was it, Lion Witch, Witch in the Wardrobe, where that kid wants Turkish delight. Like, why don't you just yeah. want, like, Galaxy? Or <laughs> <Capri? laughs> Jelly Babies, man. No, no, they have they have a galaxy distribution in Narnia, didn't they? <laughs> <laughs> it's like a Big Mac or something. But, yeah, that's what I don't just Basically, like, I've taken over. Anyway, right. So, so um, <laughs> uh, Falcon Winter Soldier. Yeah, I think. Yeah, it was very can, good. Can I just throw a curveball in? No. I got in. Uh, and I have just started watching. We're about three episodes in uh, Marvel Iron Fist. Oh. Oh, okay, that's going back a bit. Nice. <laughs> yeah, I, I kind of started that, and it just didn't. Hold, it got to the point when it's oh. For, Get on with it. Iron Fist yeah. sucks. Um, I really like it. I Iron thought Fist. Iron Fist was a pile of <laughs> <laughs> I thought that about Luke Cage, to be honest. I, the more I think about it, I, I thought Luke Cage was crap. I, I like thought Iron Luke Fist was I thought that was just, great fun. It didn't go anywhere after a while. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, just, mm. he just got off. Oh, a couple out. more episodes, maybe. I just think I that did, the, I... the characters in like, Iron Fist are just useless. They're just they're not so, written they're, very they're well, so pointlessly so. just kind of yeah, non-existent. I quite like the, the female character. She's quite yeah, cool. Wayne. She's yeah. a bit badass, but it's just like the main character just kind of spends the entire first half of the first series just kind of complaining and not going yeah. to do his job basically, and then everyone else around him kind of does the same thing, and it's just a bit. Oh. I, I do love the fact that it's just every five minutes, and the immoral iron fist. Yeah, he keeps saying it, but then never does anything to back it up. He punches his way through a couple of walls, and that's it. It's like, yeah. oh, fuck. Yeah. So it's the second episode, he punches his way out of the prison, and you're like, oh, now yeah. it's going somewhere. He doesn't really use yeah. it at all. He yeah, uses right. it more yeah. in Defenders than he does in bloody the entire series. In yeah. Defenders is a short series. Yeah. So, yeah. I don't know. I, I still enjoyed it. I still enjoyed it. But... It was all right, but I... after a while, it just... It just... It grates. Not going in, going somewhere and losing mm. interest. So you. Oh, know, I think it's like it's like Daredevil, Jessica Jones, Luke Cage, Iron Fist. I think would be. Stop Luke Cage and Iron Fist, but okay. You watch quite a lot of Daredevil. I think Daredevil's the best one. Daredevil's wicked. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Yeah, that's such Daredevil. a good series. Yeah. And I, I quite like the fact that at the beginning he was, you know, making mistakes and getting sort of his butt kicked and stuff mm. like that, and mm. he had to sort of kind of like a get better and stuff yeah yeah i've yeah. had the same problem with arrow after oh. i mean after a certain amount of seasons it was just like just, 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 <laughs> just, just like, really how dare you sir around and, you know, <laughs> my beloved really, arrow yeah it's just a bit frustrating but... i will i will say the last two or three series i'd say the last two series of arrow are a bit kind of 
but the final series is you know it's like the send off series but there is a point yeah. halfway through where it's kind of like oh okay probably jump from the middle to the end and not miss much yeah i would say that's probably true that's kind of how i felt about flash the first two series of flash i thought were really good and then it start, starts trying to explain supernatural stuff and like you know space superpowers with science and it was like just a bunch of nerds talking about nothing in particular and it just kind of started getting a bit like old. Really. well yeah <laughs> where have we said that before mm. <laughs> anyway, it just it just uh, felt a bit yeah it, some of the series is start to kind of great after a while but obviously stuff like Daredevil. Yeah. have you seen the first series of jessica jones dave because that's really Ooh. good the first series of that is incredible no. that's no. phenomenal oh, I'm go to that. agent carter if Agent Carter also very good. Really good. Yeah. That will be free on Netflix, basically. Or but Jessica Jones Carter. will be. No, Agent Carter's Disney Plus. Yeah. So. But Jessica Jones is on Netflix because that's. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think I'm pretty sure Jessica Jones is on there. Yeah, they've got they've got those those models. But what what I want to know is, are they considered canon anymore? Because I know there's yes. rumors they're going to bring <laughs> back. Well, okay, I know there's rumors they're going to bring back Charlie Cox for some MCU films now really? to actually be dead. Well, yeah, because he might end up being Spider-Man's lawyer. I've heard rumors. Oh, dude. I yes, heard, please. Don't forget, Spider-Man is in New York, and so you know. I mean, there's references to Daredevil in like every Spider-Man game, so exactly. And also, if they brought back um, what's his face as Kingpin, um, what's his name? Which, Vincent uh, D'Onofrio. Oh, yeah. 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 I would happily see it because him, him as Kingpin, like that really was good. really good yeah. casting. Because I've, mm. I've always loved, loved Kingpin in, in the um, like Spider-Man cartoons and the, and the comics and stuff. So I want, I want to see him kind of come onto the big screen now, or at least like a Disney Plus series. You don't want Ving Rhames the... from the film, then? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> or, or we could, or we could have the uh, the Spider Verse one where he, he's literally like three meters wide and has a head that's this big. <laughs> well, but to be fair, yeah. if he, if he's played by oh who's the dude um I don't know the guy the guy's name he plays him now it's the same guy who plays Wolverine's brother in Origins. Oh him, name. bloody hell! Yeah, that makes yeah. sense. Yeah, because that's that's okay. That is a good segue. I have now finished rewatching all ten X Men films. That was quite an interesting interesting watch. Um, Dark Phoenix is so boring. Yeah, I, 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 I've I've watched it twice now. I love the cast, and there's like a few cool bits, but yeah. like. Quicksilver's wasted. They actually do Dark Phoenix worse somehow than Last Stand. Mm. I don't know how that's possible, I but know. you know. Um, <laughs> it's it. I tell you what, though, Days of Future Past, best X Men movie. Logan is the best character movie and best mm. overall in the series. Okay, good. But yeah, I think it would it would go Days of Future Past and Logan same level. Uh, then probably X Two. Actually, X Two is is a is damn good, good film. Then I'd probably say First Class. That film underrated for me and then i'd probably say the wolverine i'm re-watching that Wolverine's good. The, the, the very last bit a little bit kind of like okay whatever but like i'd say 75 percent of that film is really cool yeah. and the whole japanese aesthetic and the, and the whole bullet train sequence and plus it's all the samurai stuff which i know dan will love so. yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I love a bit of samurai. oh yeah um yeah. then after that i'd probably say the original x-men which is quite grounded and it holds up pretty well for the most there's a few janky effects but it's like 20 <laughs> yeah. years old now so uh, and then after that, I was thinking uh, X Men Apocalypse actually gets a lot of hate, and I don't mm. get. I think it's actually a pretty decent. It's stupid after a while, so it just gets a bit like, calm down, Oscar Isaac. You need to stop building pyramids <laughs> everywhere. But most of these films are stupid in some way. Well, the X Men films, films, films have always been X Men films have always been fairly grounded. And I like the message behind them. Uh, mm. But yeah, after Apocalypse, and I, I was trying to figure. I, I actually thought Last Stand holds together better than I thought. It's like the Spider-Man 3 of the X-Men films. It's, yeah. it's got enough cool bits, but it's just a little... It's very Brett Ratner, and I hate Brett Ratner with <laughs> passion. Um, and then after that, I'd say Origins, because it's got... There's a few. There's still a few oh, cool okay. moments, and certainly the bits... Like What's funny is actually the most interesting stuff is obviously that montage during the title sequence, during like all the wars and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, I actually also like Wolverine's brother in it is actually really cool. Apparently, were, they were going to bring him back for Logan, but he had other commitments because oh, that would have been a cool little be wicked, yeah. sort of tie it off. Mm. Um, it's really just the kind of latter half of Origins and all the stuff on on the Three Mile Island, which is dumb as hell. And mm. you know, we won't talk about Deadpool because I didn't watch the Deadpool films because I know they're canon, but not really. So, uh, and then yeah, Dark Phoenix at the end because it's it's a wasted, boring nothingness. Yeah, um, I feel like the, you, the first class arc kind of loses after first class. It kind of just goes, oh dear. <laughs> well, I think I think Days of Future. I think first Days of Future class, class, I, I would class of both. Days of Future class, yeah. 
covered. But the only other thought I had is Logan is supposed to take place five years after Days of Future Past, right? Mm. So from Days of Future Past, they went from everything's perfect. It's like this perfect finish. And then literally within five years, Wolverine has aged about two million years. <laughs> Suddenly the professor has gone from Rich. being pretty yeah. competent to kind of, I don't know what. But there's, well, there's two theories. One is that Logan takes place on the original timeline. So yeah. it's like, you know, 20 plus years after last, 24 years after last stand. Or the Days of Future Past was Wolverine kind of hallucinating because it was a bit too perfect. And actually what happened is that this is what became of the future. So you didn't get the Sentinels, you went, but they ended up getting mutants being kind of killed off by... I think it's like a disease or something in Logan. I never quite understand. It's Professor what... X having a meltdown, basically. That's it. Yeah. So, <laughs> I mean, I don't get to. I mean, you, if you get caught up on the X Men timeline, you're probably just going to end up crying. Oh, it goes but... all over the place. My favorite character, Bishop, is just like his his story is in bonkers. It goes up, down, left, right, and backwards. <laughs> it's crazy. But <laughs> I think the films do that kind of thing quite well because it. The first class thing kind of separates it out in a nice way because you have the new cast and everything, and then they mm. link it together with Days of Future Past, which kind of. But you've, you've got the, you've got the cast not aging, and there's ten years between like forty. So it goes from the sixties to the nineties, and yet they don't age. Because they're bit. mutants, they don't age. I don't know. Oh yeah, let's, let's go. <laughs> so my last question for everyone: Would you yeah. want to see? Uh, obviously, with MCU, they're going to do the multiverse and stuff. Would you want to see them? use the multiverse to kind of cherry pick some of the original X-Men cast and the first class cast or do you want to see them just do a full on hard reboot what, with all the, all the new people mm. what I'd do you reckon see, I'd, want, you'd want to have some cohesion there with yeah, with the original people I mean you wouldn't get Hugh Jackman back because he's not doing Wolverine anymore which would suck but um, you could potentially get um, what's the face Frankie Jensen's back to do Phoenix you might be able to get Cyclops back in no, James Marsden's Doing doing quite well at the moment. So I, think I would prefer be they bring in what's his face for Nightcrawler because the new guy just kind of doesn't do anything. <laughs> mm. um, they, I think it would be they good. Would, they already need to bring back. I'd, like I'll be keen to see because I've seen theories floating around. I'm not going to get too caught up on theories because I got very disappointed in One Division. But like <laughs> they are, they already have Evan Peters there, and because the multiverse encompasses time and space, so you can kind of do whatever you want. <laughs> it's just an um, excuse to do it. I definitely. Well, I, I think if, if if nothing else, if they brought McAvoy and Fassbender in, I would be very very happy with that because I think they are really well cast. But Ian McKellen mm. Stewart though. I think I think <laughs> they. They're so good. Think, well, He's busy doing. Season two of Picard. Picard. Yeah, that's true. Oh, that, yeah, that's true. that I'm looking forward to. Yeah, but I'm rewatching Picard, Picard at the moment with Mum, and oh my god, I love that series yeah. so much. Yeah, it's just so well done. It's so beautifully it, filmed. What's the problem? How, how can you pan that? I mean, you've, you've got Nonsense with Patrick Stewart. Yeah, you've got Stewart, but they, but the way they brought in some of the original cast, but I thought it was brilliant. Yeah, yeah. good. I loved it. Right, it being, uh, yeah, Jonathan yeah, Brakes come back was like. Yes. Got a cottage on a planet somewhere. Yeah, yeah, and uh, and seven of nine. Oh well. Oh come on. Being a voice that boy, was a great that's little like... pirate. Yes. She's turned to sort of sort of badass it's sort of um, vigilante, yeah. yeah, vigilante thing, yeah. So in that the, the cool. end of that, the first season, they've now got a crew set up, which is absolute an absolute cracking crew. Yeah, mm-hmm. get now, crew. Yeah, yeah, now you want to go and see them go and do the, the robot Picard as well. Yes, yeah. exactly. Robert so, Picard. yeah, I would... <laughs> Sorry. Spoilers. Oh. It's, it's been out for ages. <laughs> yeah, you haven't seen it yet, go that, watch it. In the words of Dan, if you haven't seen it, you're getting it spoiled. So Exactly, yeah. yeah. You could have seen it by now. Yeah, it's anyway, been out for ages. That, that's another one looking forward to. So, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, it's just so beautifully shot, that show. Oh. Spoilers to see today. Yeah. Yeah. I have to agree yeah. with you there, Dan. It is gorgeous. It's got shot, a certain like... feel about it. I don't know what they do. Yeah. It's got a certain sort of just... I don't know. Juicy is the word I want to use. Like, it just, sure. it, mm. yeah, it's almost like you know, but they got they got the most expensive possible lens you could possibly get, and they rolled it on the thighs of Dusky Mate. <laughs> well, but... oh, <laughs> sprink, sprinkled it with angel dust. dust. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. Shots of your pick up some um, grapey place. The chateau. What do they call it? Vineyard, chateau, good lord. It's grapey place up with the ass, yeah, mate, yeah, yeah. whatever yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is that our new title for this week, Picard's Grapey Place? <laughs> Picard's I hope it is. Yeah, probably. I think it might have to be. Hey, one down a day. <laughs> <laughs> 
But that was really well shot. It yeah, nice it's just it's all. Well, and, and obviously, data having data back. Mm. Yeah, well, all, he's all in his seventies yeah. now. Yeah, yeah well, he, yeah. He, he's aged well as an android. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. But, um, yeah. So that, that's another one. Yeah. yeah. So, so, anyway, moving on. We spent quite a lot of time on um, X Men. Right. Yeah. Right, so, line of duty, um, next, next up's got to be Line of Duty. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. What an episode. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So, what are you guys' theories on who the, who, who Davidson's related to? Dude, I looked, I like, within like five within five minutes of the episode ending, I looked that shit up and I was like, oh, what have we got? Well, who could it be? Did, did anyone sort of stop frame it, see if they could see that photo? It's of her. It's of her. It's not of the person. <clears throat> yeah, yeah I, I did that. I was like, mm. you bastards. Yeah. Um, um, well, I've seen some theories that it could be um, Tommy Hunter, who's the original OCG yeah, head, I've because seen he that. was Scottish. Mm. Uh, a lot of people seem to think it's Corbett, which seems a bit weird to me. Oh, what well, Corbett's mum? Yeah, because the, they were wasn't this the thing yeah. they were, he was like separated because of you know the IRA stuff, and he ended up moving uh, yeah. to Liverpool. He's not actually from yep. there, but he moved there and was raised there. So there could be yep. a, a family split thing there, but I. Eh, eh, but I what know. I mean. I'm just trying to trying to remember through the the, the fog of the kind of adrenaline <laughs> some of the stuff that happened. Um, but yeah, there's some great stuff starting to kick off. I mean, the, oh, I love goodness. the fact that now Ted and and the entire AC that was three bonkers. Ninety percent, ninety percent. What the? <laughs> in the entire. So obviously the guy at the top, the crooked. Oh, he's corrupted. Uh, he's got to be. He's bent as hell. And you just, and just, you know, you can, you thinking, Ted, you've got a month. <laughs> sort it out. Come on. Yeah, go. <laughs> um, so that's quite good, that extra threat level. But yeah. the, um, obviously the scene that kind of takes it all is the, the ambush and the, the ambush. firefight. Bloody hell. You know? Yeah. I mean, that's got to be the first firefight they've actually won, right? I know, right? <laughs> yeah, it's good. crazy. Yeah. And that fucking shot, dude. Steve, Steve, like, Steve with the snipe, the one yeah, tap. Oh, that was incredible. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, yes, Steve. <laughs> Ridiculous oh, yes. shot. Okay. Anyway, apologies to those who are not watching at the moment, but you should. And you it's should. your fault for not you watching should. it. You should. It's amazing. It's your own yeah. damn fault. Yeah. <laughs> which, one, which channel is it on? Uh, on what now? You can, watch, you can watch it on it I, Yeah, you can watch it on iPlayer. I think it's all on iPlayer. Yeah. BBC. Right. Yeah. Oh, it's incredible. How many seasons? We got to season five. This is the fifth, fifth I think. Yeah. Or is this the sixth? Might be sixth. Yeah. Trust me, you won't be disappointed about any of the yeah, seasons. Six. Yeah, it's and six. What, what you it. The thing are I really... They, they, Sorry. Any news on uh, when they're going to stop? Uh, I think there's one season left. Uh, last time oh. when I heard interviews from Vicky McClure, uh, which was in kind of... 2019, well, they said about filming is... two new series. Yeah. Two, oh, series. two two series to wrap it up because I think that's what Jed had in mind. Yeah. So we know that we're coming that. to an end. Mm. Yeah, but if it didn't, it'd just be an ongoing uh, the OCG, the OCG this. And I mean, the fact that he's going happen. to have done seven series is amazing because yeah. they're still going really strong. Oh, right. yeah. so he's so gonna be, weaving in. So. There's going to be a total of seven. So this one yeah, and this then one two more. Yeah. No, wow. one one yeah. more after this, I'd say. One more after this. This is the sixth. <laughs> oh, of course, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah, I, that, I like that because that means they've got to wrap it up. Yes. And it's got to all be resolved and that puts some <clears> limit <throat> around it. Um, yeah. Climbing. So but I don't know how you're going to leave it at the end of this season. Crikey, God knows. I, I want... I, someone needs to pull it, put a bullet in Ryan. Oh my God, that kid's a psychopath. <laughs> Holy yeah. shit, What a f***ing crazy person. Yeah. Like, top, his... top hate. Top his hate like, bit too. where like he she um, Davidson dismisses him and he just kind of stops and like... Just all his like face. shuts like down. Eyes. It's oh, like so good. <clears throat> it's like a robot mis- like malfunctioning. He's like, "Thank you, ma'am," and it's like, "Oh, <laughs> this yeah. kid's gonna snap." And then you know, yeah. oh my god, yeah. I think that actor's done a terrific job. He's because great. Like, because he was such an <laughs> as a kid. He's a and little he bastard. <laughs> You know, now, and then the bit where he snaps, and then the sort of revelation where he shows up at her doorstep with the gun, you're like, oh, it is that same character. Oh, you can yeah. see it. It's the same He's dude. He's a fantastic actor, but my yeah. God, do I hate his character with a passion. Yeah. Somebody needs to yeah. kill that yeah. guy. <laughs> He's crazy. Like, just go, right, when are you getting shot? Yeah. yeah. Just goddamn. <laughs> yeah. Not bad. Yeah, when, can we, when can we pencil that in? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tell us, when you get which episode? Better be this season or else. Yeah, yeah. I just. Oh, man. Nutter. Yeah. Absolutely nutter. 
The thing I really so, like yeah. about uh, the thing I sort of realised this this week about line of duty is one of the things I really like about it is so in stuff like you know Avengers and whatever explosions just kind of go oh it's an explosion uh, but in line of duty because it's all people in like office buildings and the going on you know the odd trip outside to you know make arrest one person when something like a firefight happens it really like it feels yeah, so important it's to, yeah, every, yeah everyone like no one is safe. I thought Chloe was going to get shot in that firefight because usually the yeah. Steve's female sort of psychic usually does, but like it just it makes way more of an impact when you have like something in Line of Duty like a gun or a car crash appears. It's like oh Jesus, but in something else that's kind of like oh a car blew up. Oh, and no. the fact that you know you that major characters happen, will yeah. die. Yeah, like, like no, they like, have done. There's any anyone could get shot at any time, and it's like. Oh, Oh God! <laughs> it's that yeah. like really good sort of sense of impact you get yeah. when anything every, made every it happen. Every time they do an interview now, mm. I'm expecting some rogue gunman to run <laughs> some serious <laughs> threat with yeah. Doc. Yeah, yeah, yeah cause it keeps bloody happening, doesn't it? Mind yeah. you, Buckles' interview. What a show! Oh my God! Yeah. What an idiot! Proven to be the patsy that yeah. they probably groomed him to be. Yeah, yeah. just a complete all that effort horror. spent trying to get that guy out and talk and then he doesn't talk and he still gets killed you know? uh, oh I'm, what an idiot oh, yeah, no, come ass. on well yeah there but there Thanks. is the thing about how he was like he had time to tell Steve whatever he needed to tell yes. him and he was like I didn't talk did I Steve did I did I yeah I, I know. did he though I was thinking that did he though I think he has I think he well, has I hope he has <clears throat> but, you know anyway we, we could probably do this for about half an hour oh my god about. there's just <laughs> so, Phase, the face cast could have its own dedicated line of duty. <laughs> line of duty <section. laughs> you know, it could. There's so much in every episode. TLDR, fantastic episode. episode. Just keep going, wandering off somewhere. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm playing on the move modular Arturia thing at the moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talking about skills. But yeah. Right, yeah. Okay. Brilliant episode so guys, next week. I would probably put this above Expanse, actually. For, for, what? For, yeah. what? Yeah. How many seasons yeah. are there? And are they all on iPlayer? Because. I think so. Yeah, yeah I'm pretty sure they are. I don't know if they yeah, all are. All are. Oh, okay. There's usually a. It's all BBC. So they yeah, but they usually have an ex expiration date That's for some true, of their. So, ah. so. Might worth checking. I mean, I, I could sign up to Britbox, but I don't. It want was on to. Netflix at one time as well, so you could watch the early series on there. Yeah, it was. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. It's but worth it's doing though. It's so it's, good. It's, oh, it's, <clears throat> it's definitely worth doing. It's a masterclass in writing. Genius. Yeah, in 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 just in writing terms, it's incredible. Yeah. It's unbelievable, yeah. So good. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> I'll put that ahead of expense. <laughs> okay, all right. Okay. That's, saying, that's saying something coming from me. It also kind of like, on, compared to my Friday viewing of uh, Falcon and Wind Soldier, it kind of <laughs> on that a bit because it's, <laughs> it's way better. <laughs> Not I don't like Falcon and, Fal uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier, but Lion Duty is it's a few steps ahead of it, I've yeah. got to be honest. <laughs> well, yeah, easily, but it does mean we have a great weekend oh, yeah. stuff to watch. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> But yeah, I, so yeah, I had to say soon we we have to watch it now. Yes, if I'm not up to yeah, date, and now you know why because all the crazy shit that happened in episode four. Hello, hello. Of series yeah. six. Of series six. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Anyway, yeah. Um, what else? What else have we been watching? Uh, the, worth mentioning? the only other thing I rewatched, which I don't know, or Dan might have seen, is a film called Crawl, which is. Um... Oh, I haven't seen that yet. Have you not seen it? Oh, okay. Not an art one. Uh, well, yes. Alligator, actually. Oh, yeah. um, it's got uh, Kaya Scudellaro, who was in Skin. Did we bring this up in episode one? No. Sure we did. No, 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 that, no, was, a diff that was a different crocodile film. <laughs> that, was a different... Yeah, yeah, that was Rogue. Sorry, yes. Rogue, I, know. Sorry. Yeah. I, like, I, like, I like my kind of reptilian creature features. Okay. <laughs> my mistake, <laughs> yeah. sorry. You know, I won't, I won't spoil anything because I think, I think Dan wants to watch it. But yeah, it's a, it's a cool little kind of just... It's a very much an inner box little kind of you know yeah. claustrophobic film. Uh, surprisingly good effects for the most part. Yeah, exactly. I, I showed it showed it to Joel with the projector setup, obviously, and uh, yeah, no, it's, it's a cool film. Don't get too bogged down into the specific science of how the animals behave. That's all I'm saying. Uh, yeah. uh, that's it's that's like um, what is it? What's some the... of those things where <coughs> the animal <coughs> going. What's the shark one? Uh... Deep. Jaws. Deep Deep. Right. No, with um, with uh, Ryan. What's oh, the space with Ryan thingies. Misses. Yeah. The one that I really, the one that you and me really like, that's kind of dumb, Sam. Oh, the Shallows. Shallows. That's the one. Uh, yeah. That yeah. one makes yeah. no. The shark in that's just aggressive as hell for no bloody reason. 
Yeah, but it's and so and the good. Shark is brilliant until that point when. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, but that's that's what I mean. It's that sort of thing that. where you just kind of forget about that because it's just nicely yeah. shot and it's really okay. Well so basically, it's a Floridian version of the Shallows with alligators and silver sharks. Perfect. That's, that's all I need. By Sam Raimi, count me in. Well, look, I'd say it's on. It's actually on Now TV. You can get a week's trial, so that's what, that's how we watched it in the end. And then you can watch. You can finally watch Snyder Cut if you haven't already. Hey, I know you no. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> um, and also I've, I still haven't finished. I've got one episode left of Vikings still, which I'm going to hopefully do today. Last episode. Got to finish that, yeah, man. So good. Yeah, are we done. Anyway, I think that's about it, isn't it? Oh, I did sweet. watch a weird time travel film, but I can't remember the name of it, and um, it was just silly. Okay. <laughs> cool. <laughs> <laughs> so we just... don't know what they watch, but it was. <laughs> Oh, 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 the only other last thing, Elliot, quickly, what did you think of Godzilla vs. Kong? Uh, better than uh, the last Godzilla film. It, it did basically the role that that film should have played in this terms of the this monster cinematic universe of this is the one where you want all the crashy, bashy, smashy stuff, because this one was actually better. Um, and um, uh, despite the fact there are a thousand plot holes, it is a monster movie, and for that alone... I was like, okay, I've kind of learned since the Gareth Edwards one, because I've never been into monster movies, to switch my brain off almost entirely. <laughs> and this time, it worked. I apply your uh, Sharknado reference, uh, Neil, yeah, yeah. in it. Yeah. 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 Yeah, so you just turn off everything bar the, the audio and visual receptors. Yes, yeah. that's it. Um, Perfect. Then, then put some background and let your brain go, hold on a minute! Yeah. yeah. Although surprisingly, there is some kind of emotional weight to King Kong, despite all the nonsense yeah, in this yeah, film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. but only it's like you know that much. A grain of a sprinkling. Yeah. Of I think literally my my only thing I would change about it is a, maybe a little bit more build up because it just kind of goes, look, right here it is. Oh, it's like, okay, right, okay. No, that's yeah. what we're here for, Sam. Action, oh. action, action! Destruction monsters. Woo! Yeah. I mean, the human yeah. subplot is just why. Just it's if you want a wide <laughs> shot of a few cities or something. And yeah, then yeah just to establish it. it, yeah. And it's a bit like oh, the, the, the visual effects team, amazing work. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, the night shots with the fight scenes that you've seen in the trailers. Really oh, yeah. Impressive. Yeah, that whole Hong Kong scene is bloody fantastic. Yeah. I think those films are a bit like um, those sort of metal songs, heavy metal songs, that start with a little kind of delicate intro. <laughs> yeah, a little sort of pingy pingy, pingy intro, and then it goes straight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, just go straight just up. Just carried on like that for yeah. five minutes with a, a frenetic guitar solo, which you can't hear the separate notes of because it's just yeah, <laughs> just grungy as well. Yeah, and that's what you want in a movie on a, on a Friday night. Yeah, yeah, perfect. yeah. Right, very agreed. Yeah. Right, movie like metal songs. Yeah, let's leave it. Yeah, let's, let's leave it there. So. Leave it there. I'll hey, skip the anime sorry. section this week because <laughs> <laughs> we're running too long. Yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> Till next week. Go and watch some. Yes. Watch Lad yeah, G. Oh, and subscribe <laughs> if you want. Yeah, if you want. You don't have to. Yeah. Reciprocity. Reciprocity. Zero reci we haven't had zero reciprocity. But we yet. have had a mother of God now. Mother of God. Yeah, mother of God. Mother of God. Okay, cool. So uh, we'll update you on the Ted uh, Hastings bingo uh, next, next week. <laughs> <laughs>